What's going on everybody today is something I've been kind of excited for for the longest time. Uh, I saw it on a Twitter post for me probably a couple months ago, but I kind of took a break from making videos and streaming and all that. It was to see all of my pets. So this is probably going to be a short one to be honest with you guys. So we're going to jump right into showing you the pets that I have acquired while playing RuneScape 3. Alright, I've only been playing RuneScape 3 for about a little more than two years, I want to say. Give or take a little more than two years. Um, so I'm not going to have a whole lot, as you can already see, um, showing all items. No, I just want to see the ones that I have. We're going to start with the legendary pets. I got the Blood Pouncer. I think the Blood Pouncer was the free one. I can't remember. I think for getting Premiere, I can't remember. But we have the Blood Pouncer, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous pet. And then we move on to the Warborn Behemoth. I, I actually personally had Ruin Coins when they were giving out Ruin Coins for certain events or something like that. I can't remember. It was actually not too long ago. Decided to get the Warborn Behemoth. I probably should have went with the Gorilla, but that's all right. Personal preferences, opinions, all that. And you can change their colors. Which I just recently learned that as well. I'm not the expert of pets. Now we'll move to the companion pets. Dawn, I honestly do not know what pets I have in the game. So don't be shocked by me seeing what I have here. Dawn is a little unicorn. That's cute. Little unicorn. And we knew move the mimic. Yep, I figured it was gonna be the chest. Um don't know where you get mimic from, to be honest with you. No idea. Alright, then we move the squack. A squid? I didn't even know I had a squid. I gotta start looking at this more often. Now, where do you get a squeck from? If anybody knows where you get any of these pets from, please don't hesitate. Let me know because now I am very curious on where you get a squid from the game. Tomb Gorilla, I believe this was handed out for the Halloween event last year or maybe the year before. Not exactly 100% on that, but that's a sick one. That's a sick pet right there. Without a doubt, how big is he? can't call it pet right now. Alright. Well, we'll have to check him out another time. I think I have a... Uh, override familiars. Call pet. Change. Wow! A lot bigger than I thought. A lot bigger than I thought. By the way, if anybody's wondering why I'm here at Zuck, it's because I hear a lot of people love the Zuck soundtrack. So, we're going to play with that. But anyways, he's a lot bigger than I thought he was. wonder why. Anyways, Joseph. He was one of my favorite ones I've ever gotten. It was the rainbow, what, alligator, chameleon, iguana? Or is he just an iguana? I have no idea. Honest. He's some sort of mini dinosaur. I, I ran with him for the longest time. I thought it was the coolest. I, I don't know why. But he is pretty cool. He oh, he slithers like a snake or he... Oh, that's different. All right. Anyways, there's Joseph, the whatchamacallit. Now, we have the Lorehound, which everybody gets when you get a certain part on maze, caravan, quest stuff, whatever it's called. Get a Lorehound. Actually, did you get a Lorehound from that? Or she just upgrade your Lorehound? I can't remember. Let me know. And we got the Skeletal Bear, which was the Halloween event as well. Um, I believe... I know the Tomb Gorilla and the Skeletal Bear were both Halloween, I think. I know Tomb Gorilla definitely was. I just want to check him out. The biggest he. Wow, is he too close? I don't like it. I don't like it one bit at all. Alright, back into this. Um, Phoenix Mimic. The difference between the other Mimic. Oh, the chest is different. The design of it. Phoenix feathers on it. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's just a chest. I mean, and Felix. I remember Felix. I don't remember where you get Felix from, but I remember Felix. You were able to get different outfits for him. Her. It. Whatever. Um, But I don't know how to unlock these. 
I, I really don't know how to unlock them. Anyways, Cerberus. I remember paying for this because I thought Cerberus was one of the cool ones. I, you can't beat how badass he looks. You just can't. A snake for a tail? A cobra out of everything has a tail. Three headed dog scratches all down it. You know, spike collars. Perfect pet. I, I love the darky kind of stuff. So, perfect pet. Speaking of which, I want to see what he looks like now. Been a while. Yeah, Cerberus. Oh, that's, uh, that's probably one of my favorite ones that they have created as a pet. Out of every single one of them. Anyways, moving on to the next one, we have ourselves Muncher. Muncher you get from the Halloween event over at Draenor Manor last year. Was it last year? See, I'm getting all mixed up now. I think it was last year, or you were able to get him beforehand. I just got him last year. You were able to get him the Halloween event beforehand as well by doing some of the events around the manor or something. Des, no idea. Let's find out. 5K, that's your uh, your score, your ruined score. Getting 5K. I've never actually looked at him before. How big is he? I feel like... Do you get different ones for different milestones? I'm not even sure. Does it show? Head up. Quick. Dez. The bra. Nope. I don't have him for sure. That's, that's for sure. Alright, scales. Oh, no. Scales? Where scales come from? Um, I believe I got scales at the very beginning. And if you guys see one on here that you know is rare and not a lot of people have, please let me know because I have no idea about any of the pets. Usually I run around with the smallest pet that I got, and that's usually Gladys. Foreshadowing. <laughs> but anyways, Scales is... I remember he was one of the first ones I have ever gotten in this game. I do recall that. Actually... Besides the very, very beginning quest over at Birthorp, where you get the baby golem or baby troll? Baby troll. I think baby troll was the very first thing I was able to throw on the ground that was classified as a follower or a pet or whatever you want to call it. Um, I think Scales was the one that was right after that. What it was for, I can't remember. Anyways, we have Squasha. Uh, I, Squasha is my favorite out of this besides Cerberus. Only because... Purple Squasha is amazing. Don't recall ever getting them. It must have been through an event at some point, especially Halloween. But purple with the green tongue, that is the perfect coloring of all time. Purple and green, perfect mixed colors of all time. Now we have Chomper. Everybody, I feel like everybody at least should have Chomper. Um, and not sure where you get it but i have seen chomper running around and it's just a pure alligator nothing too special with chomper here how big is chomper a normal size alligator compared to human form anyways i go back down to chomper we're losing it all uh poison spider red poison spider green now i'm gonna skip ahead and go with the ice spider as well Anybody who's afraid of spiders, I'm sorry. It's on screen. With the red and green. And then the Dark Beast from the Yak Track, I believe it was. I believe it was the Yak Track. That you got the, the Dark Beast. You got far enough in. But there is the realistic looking Dark Beast. Or at least the highly graphical Dark Beast. Now, Iris, I know, came from Prime. Or Premiere, not Prime. Premiere Membership. I know Iris came from Premier Membership, and everybody has it. Uh, double check on Iris here. Eye on top, eye on front, bunch of tentacles, spikes for the lid. Honestly, I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> Honestly, I, I don't. It's a floating eyeball. I, I, it's a floating eyeball with whatever for eyes as the pupils. Did it just blink? It's blinking. Like, like the, the side. 
copyright? Anyways, <laughs> moving on. Um, we were at Iris. Terry came from a yak track. I do know that. Um, some sort of Yeti roll golem type of deal going on. Cool design. It is a cool design. It's just not my cup of tea. Let's just say that. Um, ice cube. <laughs> just, just a nice on a bone, like a, a boot or a shoe, a hammer, and a shard. Not sure what that shard is, but yeah, it's holding. Uh, it's an ice cube. <laughs> Anywho. Uh, we have from the axe from 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 Menic, from Menic, Hunter's friend, which is just a dead over. I never knew. <laughs> never had a dead over. Don't know where I got that from. No idea. Chipper is next. Oh, this is from one of the yak tracks too. Chance of styles on one. Uh, can be unlocked from the four and three. Yak tracks, see, yeah, the old yak tracks. I wasn't a big fan of yak tracks. I wasn't, I'm not a big fan of stuff that you have to, you know, progress through in order to get unlocks. So, line it, line it. Looks like we're in a little brown, brown and a cape. Piper, I think it was another yak track event. All right, lumber yak. I mean, you know where that one came from. It's just a, a yak holding a lot of lumber. <laughs> Battle Worn Steel Unicorn. This came from an outside the game event. I don't remember what the website was called, but they did an event where if you went up and you signed up, you got a free bunch of keys and, and you get this cosmetic or this pet. And I think you got a cosmetic as well, which we could do a future um, future video on if we ever have to. Uh, Boulder, you got that through the Christmas event. What's the Christmas last year and then Roria I think that was from the battle pass test thing that they did I think that's what that was Jade my lane Ragnar it wasn't maybe it was also yak track I did they did so many different things it was not to I lose track um a pretty decent fan of these I mean just big mountain lines basically following you around. How big is Ragnar behind us? Not that big. Alright, go back down. Um, Radiant Crusader Drake. I have no idea what this is. I have never seen that before. How big is that? I have it appearing in Managiri. I'm terrible with names in this game. He's a Drake. It's kind of cool. Bikes on its tail. It's battle ready. As it says. <laughs> battle worn. Oh, that's a still unicorn. Radiant Crusader Drake. It did not. Golden Chinchampa comes from the element store. So, there's that. I believe it was free for a while, so I grabbed it. Tiny Hazel. I feel like I just unlocked it not too long ago, so I have no idea where I got that from. Magic Carpet. Imperial, that's from when you hit something, a certain milestone in Manifos. Doing all the activities there to grow your levels out there. So, there is that. We have Springy. Um, when Rainbow stuff first came out, well, when it was I and, you know, GP, I was buying some sort of Rainbow stuff for cosmetics and I saw this Springy token, Rainbow Springy pet token or whatever it was called and I decided to get it so I have a slinky as a pet <laughs> we have a balloon cat which I have no idea where that came from either not a clue what does that look like behind me follower pets cannot be overrun familiars alright well that sucks for that one we're gonna have to check that one out later too all good Override. And all right, the Zamorak Hawk and the Cerdom and Owl are from. You get eggs from getting nests every once in a while. 
if you have like a red egg or something that you go put it in the incubator that's over in Taverly which if you don't know uh, you can look it up easily I'm sure somebody has the incubator on some YouTube channel that you'll be able to find out how to get over to it and you incubate it for an hour or something like that and it pops out with you know you have your Zamorak Hawk you have your Cerdominal I think there's a Raven I didn't chase after pets I, I'm not a big pet chaser anyways baby dragon blue I believe there's also a red one I'm not too sure I mean it'll make sense since we here but anyways uh, we have our leveling pets and I only got one boss pet believe it or not and that is Gladys. Um, I used to AFK Arc Glacier a lot on one mechanic, and I just so happened to have gotten the pet. Um, I feel like Gladys is a pretty simple pet to get at Arc Glacier. I don't hear too many arguing about not getting it, but it is what it is. I have Gladys. I'm just trying. I'm currently working on getting a thousand kills on hard mode at Arc Glacier to get him into the dark beautiful gray slash black form that is gorgeous anyways we're gonna move on to ramsey cooking i believe it's cooking looks bunny ears oh the halo and stuff i got you uh that's the cooking pad i believe brains is that farming that would only make sense for it to be farming right i mean you have a scarecrow 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 birds from your, your crop no clue. Anyways, we got Bernie, which is the fire making one, which is pretty cool. He was my first leveling pet, which these really aren't we're looking for. Uh, their are achievements, yes, but they're not like sought out their achievements. Besides the people who are like over 200 mil still chasing a pet, but I feel like these I'm pretty fluently actually actively go after them, but it is what it is. Low, I believe, is the touching. Which is just a giant feather. I was more excited about this. I don't know why. I remember getting it and I was super excited for it. And I posted it everywhere. I was super excited about a feather following me. Alright, then we have Krabby, which is a Slayer. Which I thought this was pretty cool when I first got it. I had this as a follower. Or as an override for a while. We have Wallace, which is defense. I almost said magic, but that's Newton. Sorry. Um, Morty. Fishing, maybe? I honestly couldn't tell you. <laughs> Wish I could tell you, but I can't. I don't know. Newton that's definitely magic as he gives off his ruins up in the front. Earth, fire, mind, comic, cosmic, chaos, astral, nature. All that fun stuff. So magic, I think that's pretty cool. Um, that they in implemented all the ruin signs. Then we have Shamini. I couldn't tell you the name but why do I feel like this was the herb lore no this was summoning this is summoning this was the summoning uh, pet I can't remember now summoning pouch kind of stuff I get it um pretty cool it's basically a ghost following you around Archie which is the archaeology one I don't remember getting him to be honest with you I'm actually in Rock right now that I found out that I have an archaeology pet. <laughs> but it's pretty cool. It's a little mummy. A little mummy. Does he can he follow you? Let's see what he looks like behind you. He's tiny. I have to search head. Anyways, and the final one is Omen. Everybody knows. The most gorgeous leveling pet of all time. Skilling pet of all time. I, I don't care what anybody has to say. It just has so much cosmetic to it. it has so much graphics it has so much beauty to it it just very 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 vibrant i mean it's just gorgeous coloring and it's an owl who doesn't like owls especially once they give off pixie dust <laughs> honestly but yeah, guys, let me know what pets you guys have inside of RuneScape. Let me know I, if it's something that if I have a, a rarer one that's something that you can't get no more, please also let me know. Uh, future videos, I'm looking forward to showing you more of the cosmetic sides of things. Also excited to get back into PVMing and 
I'd explore RuneScape 3 once more because I am not perfect on this game whatsoever. And I believe I'm still one level off from 120 at Dungeoneering. So, if you guys are excited as much as I am, uh, please drop a like. And if, please consider subscribing if you guys are interested in your content like this. With that being said, guys, we are going to end this video. And I hope to see you guys in the next one.